Welcome back to Adelphi University's Human Performance Lab. Today we're in our adult fitness program gym where we'll be bringing you through the tutorial on how to use our EMG, electromyography software, as well as the hardware. Without any further hesitation, let's get started. Before we can get started, we need a few things. We need our charged sensors, our electromyography sensors, which are right here. We'll need sensor stickers, which will allow us to stick the sensor to the individual. We need electrodes. These are dual hex electrodes that connect specifically to EMG applications. And we'll also need our EMG wire connectors, which will connect the sensors to the electrodes. After that, we'll need something to pick up what the sensors are giving out, and that's going to be our Telemio DTS, which is just a receiver. We'll also need our Telemio PC interface, which will allow the receiver to connect to our laptop with the Naraxon software that we have on it, which is our EMG software. Furthermore, we'll need some gauze, some new prep, and some rubbing alcohol to prep the skin before we attach the electrodes on whoever we're testing. So before we get started, we need to start our software. So we'll come over here to the top left and we'll hit MR 3.8. This is our analysis software for our EMG unit. The next thing that we'll do is we'll go to the top and choose the third option over from the left, which is database. This will allow us to create a new project. What we'll do is we'll then hit more on the right here and select new. Now we can enter the name of our new project, which we'll say is video tutorial. Once we've done that, we can add a new subject. Our new subject will be a test subject, so we'll hit test, test, we'll make them a male. Their birth date can remain the same. Weight is 150 pounds and height of 68 inches. So once you've input the data for your subject, you can click OK, and that'll get you out of there. Now, we can go back to home, and we can select that specific project that we want to do, as well as the subject. So we've got video tutorial selected up here. You just scroll down to video tutorial. Our subject is the only subject that is a part of this project. And then we need to decide on a configuration. So what we'll do is we'll hit new configuration, and we'll name it Video Tutorial Configuration. Now it's going to ask us what hardware we want to use. So we're going to be using a camera that will allow us to denote different parts of the exercise that the individual is going to be doing. So we'll drag that camera over and you'll see me for a moment. Perfect, there I am. And we'll need to bring over the DTS belt receiver, which will be receiving the signal from our sensors. Now we've got a picture of the body. This is our 3D muscle map, which will allow us to assign different EMG sensors to different channels. So what we can do is choose the two muscles that we're going to be testing today, which are the right pectoralis major and the right external oblique. Now usually we'll choose a muscle or several muscles that will be working during an exercise as well as one muscle that will not be to ensure that we're getting the proper signals from each muscle. If the muscle that is not supposed to be working is getting a massive signal then we know that there's something going on with our hardware or our software that we need to address. So now that we've done that, we can actually get started with our preparation for the subject and the testing. All right, now that we've got Peter in position on the chest press, we can get started prepping him. It's important to prep the individual in the position that they will be in during the exercises that we'll be testing. Otherwise, you may not get an accurate reading. So we'll need new prep as well as rubbing alcohol to prep the areas where the electrodes will be. We're going to use new prep to abrade the skin until it's light pink. That way the electrode gets a good sticking point. And we'll use the rubbing alcohol to clear off any excess debris. So we'll go ahead and do that now. 
go ahead and apply the new prep to a piece of gauze. Rub it into the gauze ever so slightly. And then prep the area. We're going to be using the PEC major and the external oblique on the right side. As we denoted earlier on in the software video. We'll go ahead and wipe off those areas to get rid of any of the new prep that's still left, as well as any of the dead skin. Now that that's done, we can wait for the individual skin to dry, and then we can apply the electrodes. So first, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and apply our hexagonal electrodes on the points that we saw on the 3D muscle map earlier. So those will be the pec major and the external oblique. Pec major and external oblique. Now that we've got our electrodes attached, we can now attach our lead wires. To attach the lead wires, you're going to take this black clamp here, squeeze it down, open it up so that it can attach to the electrodes. Make sure that the metal backing on the clamp is attached to the electrode facing towards the individual. We'll go ahead and do that now for the PEC. One and two. We can do the same thing for the oblique. One, two. And now that those are attached, we can attach our sensors. We're going to be using channels five and six. These are our newer sensors, these bottom four here. And so we try to use the newer stuff because it tends to be more accurate. So we'll go ahead and pull those out, making sure to note which one's which. And in order to attach the sensor to our individual here, we're going to take one of these stickies and apply it to the back of the sensor. So we'll go ahead and pull that off of the sticker paper, place it on the side with the button, and then remove the Naraxon white label. So now that that is done, we can attach it to our subject. So this one is for the PEC, so we'll attach that right here. And we can then plug the lead wire into the sensor. Perfect. We'll do the same thing for the oblique, attaching the sticker paper to the back of the electrode here, the sensor I should say, and removing the Naraxon label. We'll place that right there and go ahead and plug it in. Great, now that the sensors and electrodes and lead wires are all hooked up as they should be, we can get started with our testing. All right, now our subject is going to squeeze his pec. As you can see, that's our top left EMG signal and squeeze his oblique. That's our bottom left EMG signal. So now that those are confirmed and they're working properly, we can get started with our marker sets. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to record an MVC. So this is going to be 
our first contraction. It's going to be a maximal contraction as hard as possible. And this will give us a reference for the rest of our EMG uh, recordings. So what we'll do is we'll say we're going to start recording in three, two, one. We'll hit record and we'll have our subject perform that MVC. Keep going as hard as you can, as hard as you can. Done. And then we'll hit stop. And OK. Then it'll give us a save data and we'll go ahead and label that save data. So this will be test MVC, maximal voluntary contraction. We'll hit save and measure again. And now we could have the subject do a set of five, a set of 10, a set of whatever they, the experiment calls for so that we can compare the contractions and the muscle activation to the original MVC. So we'll go ahead and have our subject do four reps making sure to go at a 3-1-3 cadence, which is a three concentric, one hold, and a three eccentric, so that we can make sure we get adequate readings. So we'll hit record, and they can start whenever ready. And one more after this one. Fantastic, and we'll hit stop, which will save our data. Once again, we'll wait for the save data screen to come up. And We'll label this one test four reps. Then we can hit save and view. And that brings us to the end of our data collection phase. Finished our measurements, you're going to find yourself in viewer. What I want you to do is go into database. So database is top here on the left and we're going to, from this screen, decide which trials were what. So we know that this is the MVC, but we need to tell the computer that it is the MVC. So we'll go ahead and click that. We'll hit signal processing over here on the right, which will allow us to clean up this signal and find a peak value in it. So we'll hit signal processing. We'll hit amplitude normalization right here in the middle. And this is already selected to peak value. That's what you want it at. There are a couple others, but peak value is the one that we're looking for. Then we'll normalize it to 100 milliseconds, and that'll give us a nice tight window to find the peak value. From there, we'll hit pick, and we'll say make this an MVC. So once we do that and click OK, you'll see that the signal gets cleaned up and it gives us a green bar as to where the MVC was for the muscles that we were looking at. So for the oblique, it was right here. And for the chest, the pectoralis major, it was right here in this green window. So once that's done, we can go ahead and go back into the database. We'll hit save changes in the records, yes. Now that we've got our MVC, we're going to go ahead and process our four repetitions. So we'll double click that and that'll bring us to this screen. As you can see, this signal is also sort of messed up and what we want to do is clean that up a little bit. So it's still the raw signal, we want to refine that. The way we're going to do that is we're going to hit play and this will play the video over here in the middle of the screen as well as the timeline for the signals. We can then mark the start and end of each repetition that our subject undergoes. And then we can go into our signal processing and clean it all up one more time. So we'll go ahead and click play and we'll watch for the start of the repetition. So that's one. 
And that's the end. The end again. Done. And last rep. Done. Great. So now we can hit stop over here on the bottom left. And we can go ahead and process the signal. So we'll go over into here, we'll hit smoothing, our algorithm will be RMS, and it'll be 50 milliseconds. That'll give us a nice clean signal. We'll go down into amplitude normalization, we'll hit peak value, and we're gonna go into values from other record. Because we have an MVC already, we're going to compare the muscle activation from the repetitions to the MVC. So we denoted that this was the MVC, and we'll hit test MVC and we can then click OK. Now that that's done, we can go ahead and hit Report. We can get our standard amplitude analysis. Go ahead and click that. Make sure that both muscles that we tested here are on the right side. We want all of the muscles to be selected. And then we can go up to the top left and hit Next. We're going to be checking them by the markers that we placed. So we'll go ahead and hit by markers, hit set, and then press next. So this will give our EMG analysis, give us our EMG analysis. And what we're gonna do is hit print. Now this computer is not connected to a printer. We'll select whole report, we'll click okay, and nothing will happen. So what we'll do now is hit print one more time and it'll allow us to save it as a PDF so that we can export the data onto something that is printable and we can take it and look at it elsewhere. That concludes our EMG analysis. It also depends on what experiment you are doing so your analysis may be different than the one that we did here. However, this is how we generally do it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.